going on YouTube Burlington Northern HO fan here and today is the day we are doing the landscaping and the scenery work that I was kept talking about so now we're gonna fix this line right here we're gonna fix that in the corner over there because <clears throat> I don't want to talk about it <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna make that little mountain part here we're gonna make that a gradual and we'll cover that up and then after we do that, the next project, which is going to probably be the next video, is going to be the station that's going to go right here after we get this all set up here. So, with that being said, let's jump right into it. All right. So, what you're looking at now is pretty much everything I'm going to use to do this project. I have a paint tray. I have the grass flocking. I have a cup of water. I have some white glue and some Crayola air dry clay. When I get to this part, when I use this, I'll explain why I, I'm using Crayola play clay or air dry clay. <laughs> but first we need to fix this grass mat and that thing in the corner. So I'm gonna move the camera onto the layout and we'll fix that real quick. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to fix that hump that's over there. So I'm gonna actually use a hot glue gun, and what we're gonna do, I'm gonna rip up the staples here. And I'm not too worried about ripping the paper because it's gonna get covered up by what we're doing. We're just gonna kinda do something like that. And that should be better for what we're trying to do. I'm gonna turn my hot glue gun on, let it heat up, and then we're gonna glue the mat to the other one, like so. And then it should work better for us. All right, the hot glue gun has been heated up. I'm just gonna come over here and I'm just gonna put a bead down along the paper, just like so. We're gonna Flatten that out just like that. And that should work a little better and make it look a little nicer. And we've got a pretty big bubble here. That's the problem. This is one of the reasons why I, I'm not probably ever going to use a grass mat again on the uh, on a layout. I'll probably just use a foam board and just use grass flocking. Yeah, see we've got a bit of a thing going on here. But if we get that down somewhat good, hopefully. And what I actually, I might have to end up doing is I might have to cut the mat and then just do what I'm doing over it just to fix the issue of it bubbling up like this, because this is a bit of a problem. So. Do the same thing here, I guess. Okay. Now we've done that. So, the part that matters, the part that we're looking at here, is now completely flat. Well, not mind the bubbling that's going on over here. Like I said, I'm probably going to have to cut that and then uh, paper mache over it, which is what I'm going to do to cover this line. So now that we've done that, let's get the stuff we need to paper mache. Okay, so in order to do the paper mache, I'm following the uh, same thing that SMT Mainline did recently. Uh, go check him out. He's actually pretty good on YouTube. We're gonna do a 50-50 mixture of water and white glue. So we got that in there. And now we're gonna pour, I'm just gonna pour it straight into the tin. 
Just pour some white glue in there. It's probably a little more glue. I might get some more water than we need. Give me one second. All right, now we have our mixture of white glue and water. I'm now gonna go get myself some gloves and we're gonna do this paper mache. Okay, I kinda did it off camera, but this is pretty much what I did. As I, I took the paper and I soaked it in the water and the glue, and then I kinda laid it out and flattened it on the paper. Now that it, before it dries, I'm gonna take the grass flocking and I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray it. Well, probably better to do this this way. Do this, get all this on here before it dries because then it will it'll take up the grass flocking or it should, that's the idea. And it will look the way it's supposed to, hopefully. That's the idea. Big clumps come out like that, it won't be good, but you just kind of evenly get it on there and I don't want to get too much closer to the the uh, mountain part, the hill part over there, just because that part is going to be a little different. We got to put a little bit of a an edge to it. So, not used a decent amount of uh, the flocking there. So that's going to sit and dry. I'm going to take these big clumps off of here, and I'll probably just spray them over like that. And probably what I'll end up doing if it does if the flocking doesn't like to stick is I'll probably end up soaking it in isopropyl alcohol and then going over it with a 50-50 mixture of white glue and water. And that will hopefully make it completely stick. There's no big clumps here. This is all pretty uniform-ish. So it should work. But now we got to do that part back there. So let me get the clay. All right, so here we have the clay. What I'm going to do with the clay, it should be pretty obvious, is I'm going to take it and I'm going to shape it. I'm going to shape the mountain as it comes down the hillside there. So I'm just going to kind of give it something that the paper mache can gradually come off of. probably going to end up doing this but pretty much something like that i'm going to do this part off camera and i'll come back to you when i get all the clay down all right so now the clay is down roughly it's not it's you know it's nature it doesn't need to be completely perfect so that side i'm thinking it'll be all right i'm not going to do the other side just because that's not the part of the layout that you're going to see so i'm not going to really worry about that also it'll be kind of a pain since it's so close to the wall but I think that will work pretty well. So I'm going to get the paper mache out again and uh, cover it and see what happens. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't think it's going to work out as quite as well as I thought it was going to. This is my first time ever doing this kind of stuff. So, but it's there. And, uh, I mean, it looks good now, but, uh, I really think that this grass mat really screwed me over here. So, next time, next layout, I'm probably not going to use this kind of grass mat. So, but, you know, it's a, it's a learning process. So, but for right now, this is where it's going to be. I uh, put the clay down and I then paper shade made, uh, paper mache over it. Then put the grass flocking on top of it. 
I'll most likely, after it completely dries, have to go over it with isopropyl alcohol to get the flocking to actually stay. Because it looks like it doesn't really want to stay that much. So, we'll have to deal with that. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, it doesn't look too horrible. It looks a lot better than the last layout, that's for sure. I mean, it actually, you know, it looks like it looks like a hill. So, it, it, you know, like I said, it's a learning progress. So, anyway... I'm going to get the track cleaned, and uh, I'm going to let it dry, and then we'll run a train over it, and uh, we'll see how it looks like. I mean, the road bed is not ballasted. Maybe I'll do that off camera and uh, do that real quick after it's the paper is completely dry, and then uh, we'll run a train over it and see what it looks like. And then now that this part's done, we can start working on... This section over here with the station. And then, uh, yeah. Probably have to do a little bit of mixing between the two colors here. So, but, yeah, I like it. So, I'll see you guys when it's completely dry and possibly when I ballast the track. Alright, so, we have ballast down over there. And it actually doesn't look too horrible. Let me take you out of the tripod here. I did not ballast the side of the wall, the one that's closest to the wall, because it's really there's really no need to because I can't see it when you're sitting in the chair. So I'll probably ballast this side of the track over here. But the seam, I mean, it doesn't look horrible, honestly. For my first time ever going in this depth into scenery work on a layout, I actually don't think I did too bad of a job. The seams here, I think I've got a plan on how to figure out how to get rid of those. So, but other than that, with this grass mat the way it is, honestly, I don't think I did it too bad of a job. But I'm going to get a train and I'm going to run a train over it real quick and we'll see how it looks from the view of sitting in the chair. All right, so here's the view from the chair and you're about to see a train. Oh, look at that. It's the River Counter SD40-2. That looks pretty good, honestly. <laughs> See if I can get it stopped on the hill. Uh, just about, it's coming to a stop. And, perfect. Now let's go backwards, and we're going to creep, and we'll see how that looks. Honestly, I think this looks great. Turn my rear headlight on. <laughs> And now that's pretty neat. It just the uh, decelerated because it's going downhill now. Stop it on the hill there. Honestly, I don't think it looks too bad for my first time. So, anyway, that's a little. Somewhat of a tutorial, I guess. It's not really a tutorial since I've never done it before. This is my first time doing it, so you guys just kind of experience it with me, <laughs> I guess. But uh, but yeah, I uh, think that's a good first step to where we need to be with this layout and the scenery on this layout. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.